Why was Teddy Bean's comment to you your proudest moment in hockey? Well, I think uh, when you're young, and you're, you, the Bruins bought me when I was 11, so that they knew I was going to be a hockey player. Well, if I was good enough. Now I got to go through the junior system and all that nonsense. But they brought me up at 18, and I, whew, I hit twice as hard as I've, I've ever been hit in my life. And at 16 laid down, I said, my God, they're all good. So I went back to junior. And I humbly went back to junior. I didn't have a problem with that. And then I came up for training camp and got done. And then it's really a struggle to make. They are really good. I mean, they're very talented. And Teddy Green was exceptionally tough. And we had a go round in the first day of camp, first scrimmage day of camp. And he didn't like it. He has a way about the way it's supposed to happen, right? So Greeny says, we didn't talk. And we kind of went at each other. And he ran me a couple times with head down, eyes up. Yeah, he missed me. So, and he was mad. Now he's really mad. And I'm laughing at him. He slashed me and we're sticking each other. And coaches loved it. I was horrified. Uh, if he ever wanted to drop me, he was a seriously tough guy. So uh, I think about maybe the fourth exhibition game we played in Montreal, and we had a knock him down, drag him out brawl and because it was exhibition. And kind of the idea was they were going to be tougher than they were. They were very good, very fast. And we were a little bit of a plumber, plug along, hit type of team. So we didn't scare you. We could go and beat you. <laughs> so uh, in this brawl, I had a couple of fights. And I was really tired. You're still not in shape. And I couldn't lift my arms anymore. And, uh, you know, Teddy Harris says, you center right, point to center right. Everybody in the building sees you, right? So he's calling my bluff, please. And Teddy, tough guy. So he's six foot four. And I found center right for dinner. And he said, I, you know, out of nowhere, he pat a guy grabs my, my shoulder. And it's Teddy. He said, You want him? You got me. And he says, I don't want anything to do with you, Teddy. He says, You do if you got him. And that was it. That's when you know you belong. And that is not done a lot. A lot of people don't have that defining moment of when you finally made the team. Your teammates know you made it before management does. So that's really kind of an essential part of what happens to you in the, in the game. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.